Hey guys, welcome to another video of CRM Experts. In today's video, we are going to learn how to connect Facebook leads with Pipedrive. Let's get started. To do this, we are going to need then Pipedrive as a CRM. We are going to need add, add Facebook account. And then we need a service called Sapier. Sapier is a service that goes in the middle in between Facebook and Pipedrive and basically what it does is processes the information that is getting from Facebook and puts it straight into Pipedrive. If you have tried this before, you might have had an error when doing it. I'm going to do it so you can see why the error is happening and then how can get this working properly. Then once we connect Facebook to Pipedrive, then we'll put an extra automation in Pipedrive. So we make sure we don't lose sight of those leads. All right, so we have our Pipedrive open and then this is the tool that I was talking about earlier. It's called Sapier. So to access, all you need to do is go to sapier.com, open an account. It will give you a hundred transactions a month for free. So that's good. Every time a transaction is being made, it counts as a task. So Sapir is that middle piece that collects, transforms, and delivers, enabling the connection in an automated way. So the first thing that we are going to do is then create one SAP or one Sapir connection in between Facebook and Pipedrive. For that to happen, we are going to go to create new SAP. <coughs> The dynamic of Sapier is pretty similar to Pipedrive. If you don't know how to do automations on Pipedrive, check this video, it might be helpful for you. The first thing to select is then the trigger. It'll be the information coming from Facebook. You can select that. If you don't see it, you can just type and it will appear. Even though it says premium, it will still work for those hundred tasks. Next step is select the event, what is going to trigger that within Facebook, and in this case will be a new lead. We hit continue, and then we choose an account. Because I have done this in the past, my accounts are connected, otherwise it will prompt you to a login a screening when you can then log into your Facebook and into your Pipedrive, and then, then will be connected. As you can see, it's displaying the account for Facebook ads. If you have many, it will be all there. So make sure you select the right one. Once you have this, continue. And then same thing. If you have few pages and if you have few forms, they will be available here for you. These forms or these kind of names is auto created every time we have an ad running on Facebook. So if this is a bit confusing for you, a good way to identify which one is the one you want to link is the date that that account is running. So then we go to continue and we do the first test. What we are testing here is connection in between Facebook ads and Sapier. So as you can see, it says we found the lead. So we are good to keep going. The next action then will be done in Pipedrive. So I have it here. If you don't see it, type is all it takes. Remember in this case, we are expecting to find an error at the end. I just want to do it in case some of you guys have encountered this and then we will move to how do we actually can make it happen. So then we are going to go to lead. Then we go to continue. We select the pipe drive account, continue and the action is create a lead. So then the title will be lead and then we can utilize the options coming from the data in the ad, in the Facebook ad. In this case, full name will be a good option. The person, we are going to use the same thing. By following Pipedrive logic, the lead creation then should create the person. Organization is not needed here. The owner is only if you want to assign this to a specific person in within your work team. Notes, we are going to leave this empty and then we are going to go down to continue and then test the action. So now what we have, what we're trying here is the connection in between Sapier and Pipedrive. As you can see, it says fail to connect. Why is failing if we are doing everything as it should be? The thing is, Sapier is trying to create a lead before creating a contact. So then when he's trying to go and push the information into Pipedrive, there is an error telling it, I don't have a contact to attach this lead to. 
So what we are going to do is we are going to get the Zapier automation to create a contact and then we will go in PyDrive and create a second automation that is going to read that contact and then create a lead. All right, so this didn't work. Let's scrap this and start from scratch. Go to create, new sub. The first part of the workflow will be exactly the same. Facebook, new lead. Then we continue. We select the account on Facebook ads. Then continue. We select the page that we are going to be using. We select the form that we're going to be using. Remember, all of this comes straight from Facebook leads. You don't really need to do anything else. We want to test again just to make sure Facebook is going through Zapier without issues. We have the tick, happy days, we can continue. We want this automation to create a person. But then what if the person already exists? We don't want that duplication. We are going to set this up so it first goes and try to find if the person exists. And if it doesn't exist, which is the most likely case to happen, then it will create the contact. So we select pipe drive in the second step or action. Then we are going to find a person. There you go. Find a person. Continue. Select the pipe drive account. Continue. Then we are going to set up the action. The first thing is we are telling Sapir to go and look and try and find some similarity. So what we are going to use here is the custom field email. The only reason why I call it a custom is because it is under this tab, but this just means this is the information that we are getting from Facebook. In the term, we are going to select the same field. So basically, yes, telling Sapia, go and look this information in this field. Search for an exact match. We leave this a yes. And should this step be considered a success when nothing is found, we leave it at no. Then we Fix this, this is really, really important. And then we say, create pipe drive person if it doesn't exist yet. Then it's asking which information do you wanna to use to create that contact? We use the same things. So we got a full name, owner only if you want to assign this to a specific person. If you leave it blank, it'll go straight to the admin. Organization is not needed in this case, email, then we go and select the email from Facebook. And then here is the trick. You might have few sources of lead coming. You can have a Facebook ad running. You can have a TikTok ad running and you can have an open contact form on your website because we want to target the leads that are coming exactly or precisely from this Facebook lead. We are going to use a label. The label you need to create it in pipe drive. I have created already but it's pretty straightforward. All you have to do is within the same contacts field or contacts menu, you go into label, you hit the little pen, and then I'm seeing it because I have it, but if you wanna add it or if you don't have it, then just hit add label, type, select a color and save, and it will be there available for every contact. So once you have done that, you, you can just refresh this page and you won't lose your progress. And then what you do is select the label that you want this automation to write on the contact so you can identify later on. Facebook lead, we leave it at that. And then we go to continue. Now we have to test it. Connection Sapier Pipe Drive. And it says sending person to Pipe Drive. Let's see what happens. And there you go. A person was sent. So this worked perfectly. If you go to pipe drive, the contact or the person is there. Test lead dummy data for full name. That is just the name that the test is sending, but it will say the name of your client. To this point, what we have done is get the information that the client is typing in on that Facebook lead straight to pipe drive. Now we need to make sure we don't lose sight of these clients. If you have a really long list of contacts or people, then all the new additions, it'll go down the bottom and it's not really telling you this is something new, go and, go and action it. What we're we going to do is create an automation. So pipe drive, as soon as it gets the information from Facebook via Sapier, it will create a lead. So the first thing is 
Remember in the Zapier automation, we configure this to find and only create if it, if it doesn't exist, then I'm going to delete this test that we just created. So when we rerun the automation, it does the full cycle. So once that is done, I'm going to go to automations. The easiest way is straight from here, workflow automations, and we are going to create a new workflow. Remember to give this a title so you know what this workflow is doing in case you need to stop it. Facebook leads. Let's start with the trigger. The trigger in this case is the person because Zapier is creating the contact as a person and the event will be when the person is created. Then we want to have a condition and this is where the label comes in handy and we say when a person is created and the label of that person is Facebook lead. Then we go to apply conditions and then we hit this plus, we move to the action and we want to create a lead. So we select lead and then we are going to go and then create a lead with linked person. Let's hit next. We are going to leave these two ticked. These are the only ones we are needing. Next where it says link person, we select this one. Is This is the only option you should see. If you happen to see more, the way to know which one do you need is following this number. Basically, it's telling you this is the outcome of this step. So you go person and title, you can name it whatever you like. I will do lead and then I will say on top of that, put the name of this client so we can identify it easily. Apply action. I want to go an extra step and the extra step is I also want that label Facebook lead to be visible in my lead inbox so I don't have to be going back and forth trying to understand where the client is from and you can also filter out if you need to so then just add an extra action we are going to update we keep leads and this update leads field then we are going to leave lead and then we are going to select labels because this is the this is the field that we want to modify or update we go to click next we select this same thing is the only option you should see if you see more guide with the number lead and then we just tell in the automation what is the label we want we leave it as label as a facebook lead and apply action active and then save you can leave it up to that point if you like what you might can use in this scenario will be adding a task so something is popping up when you have things to do it can be a call a follow-up if you like to send an email to the client as a welcome or as an information you can also do with this automation if you don't know how to send emails with automations check this video this useful information for you now we just have to go and test it i'm going to go back to sapier and i'm going to push an extra test there you have it a person was sent so let's go and check step by step do we have the contact yes new with the label next thing do we have a lead yes we do lead test and last thing do we have the label yes we do this is an easy way for you to track your leads when you have a facebook ad running so as soon as the client clicks that button on facebook and say yeah this is my name and my email contact me you will travel here then you will see it straight away and then you can start all your business activities it's all for today guys if you like the video please subscribe and then hit that like button see you next time